Hey everybody, what's going on? It's Voxel Twig and we're back with another episode of Stone Block 3. Last time we got our tier 5 blood altar down. In between episodes, I got the place all spruced up, pizzazzed the fuck out, and I went back into the demon realm to grind out all the things that we would need to make it look beautiful. So, without further ado, let me show you what we got. And today, we are going to get the Well of Suffering down and automate Ethereal Shard Singularities. Woo! Ready for this? Look at this. How's this look, you guys? Not too bad, eh? Look at this. <clears throat> and right now, we do have night vision off. So, this is what the room looks like. I did. I threw out some um, framed blocks around the area and then added a glowstone dust to it, just like everywhere else, to add some pizzazz and some light. This takes us to the mining section of the Demon Realm, and this takes us to the regular section of the Demon Realm. And I did swap out uh, almost... Actually, I, did, I swapped out all of the blocks in the altar for their reinforced versions. I spent numerous hours inside the Demon Realm getting the... What was it? What was it that I'm looking for? Nope, not the gravel. It's somewhere around here. It's like mechanical. It's like a mechanical part. Can't remember what it was called. There it is. Intricate Hellforged parts. That's what we needed to make all of these. And now we got our sweet orb here. We got 204,000 LP in it. This can hold 102,000. Um, we have a lot of capacity runes, but the majority of the runes on the altar are runes of uh, sacrifice so that we get the most blood out of our subjects. And we also have, we kept the speed runes up top just for the purpose of speed. So let's get Divining Rod Dusk. And then if we come down here, we should be able to do this. Nope. Uh, okay, so we need to get these out of here. Let's get all of our runes out. Boom, nope, not those. We need blank runes. And then we're gonna need This, 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 this. Actually, can I just do this now? No, cannot. Okay, that's fine. So we'll put all these downs. Bum, bum, bum. Da, da, da. And then we'll get our little chalks out. Put those in, and then we just need one, two, crap, break that, and then this one, and then we just gotta do that. Perfect. And I think that is all of it, right? Yes. Okay. Let's put that away, and now we are looking for inscription. Take this. One of these. One of these. And one of these. Oops, I keep grabbing the same one over and over again. And dusk. Okay, so... Did I use the wrong shoot? I used the wrong ones. Oh gosh. All right, let me clean all this up. BRB. Okay, now we should be able to set these. So we go boop. Yep, there we go. Perfect. There it is. 
And then we'll do blue. Bum, bum, bum. And then red. And then uh, air. And then dusk. Dusk. And dusk. Complete. And do I have an activation crystal? Activation crystal, I do. Okay. A rush of energy flows through. Okay, so now we just gotta dig, get our things that we're gonna need. Vector plates. Um, Nope. Uh, we'll just use these ones. It's fine. We're not gonna need that many. And glass. Dark glass. Perfect. And we'll need dreadful dirt. Okay. So we're gonna dig here. And I think this will be like one, two, three, four, five, six. And then the vector plate will be like that, right? That's that's probably good enough, right? That's just one, two, three, three in. Okay. Three. Perfect. And then they'll sit like right here and then they'll bleed. And then we can also throw a um, watch of flowing time down if we need to. So if I do this, vector plate, vector plate. So will that spawn you in now? So, do we have any pedestals? Nope. Can I make a pedestal? Yep. Watch of flowing time. That works. Do the other ones while we wait, just to make sure. Dreadful dirt. Vector plate, vector plate. Perfect. Okay. One more. Okay, so that's working. Um, can we? That's filling up with the blood. Perfect. Oh, it's beautiful. Okay. So that works. Okay, so then now put all this away. We don't let's make a couple. Let's make a couple more pedestals. Just to speed that up a smidgen. Make four of them. And we're gonna need, do I have a trash can? No. Trash can, trash can, and item. I 
advanced item collector. This goes up to seven blocks away. So it's one, two, three. Perfect. Okay. So then that should cycle everything. Okay. Now we set up our system. So now it's time for automation, ender drawer. One ender drawer, item pipes, uh, upgrade for the pipes. Perfect. And then an EMC, uh, 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 one of these. And then one of these. Okay. So if I put that there and there, get this wrench here. Eh. Whoops. Stone. Stone goes there. And we want to wait for this to turn into an ethereal slate so that we can apply the filter to it. In the meantime, we can set up our drawer, which is gonna go right, sir. Wanna right, okay. It's fine, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine. Let's fucking do this myself. Eh. There we go. Grab you. Grab you. That is not fast at all, huh? Oh, it's do it's sick doing sixty four. That's why. Oh, um. Hmm. All right, let's see. Let's break this for a second. Take this. Let's see here. And I think what we want is. Trans item transponder, yeah. Okay. Oh, actually, uh, me two of them, haha. -ha. Okay, so put this here, that there, break that. And then put one of those. There. Okay. And if I put that there. I really just want one though. I don't want 64 of them. Crap. Okay, let's turn this off. Hmm. Okay, we got it figured out. So, when I right click on this, I click, you click on this right here, regulate mode enabled, so it will send one and one only. <clears throat> and then once it gets to the tippity top, which should be that, should be ethereal slate, then we should be good. Let's get another one. Actually, it doesn't matter because there's already one in there, so it won't take it. 
So I don't, we might not even need a filter on this. Do we? Nope, we do not. Okay, so now that that's done, let's put this away. And let's also craft a second blood altar with a fluid pipe and a wrench. Because what we're going to want to do here is we are going to want to speed this up. Oh, I don't want wheel of die. I just need a block. Thank you. And this is going to come here. And this is going to come here. Out. Oh, oh, oh. So we have it in there. <laughs> okay, I read it absolutely wrong. Here we go. I figured this out. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Eh, eh, eh. Plus this. We are gonna we're gonna take it blood out to make sure that everything is filled all the time, which is a okay. And then we need our pedestal ped. Didn't I put those in here? Pet pedestals. Okay. Make five. And we'll do watches of flowing time. One, two, three, four, five. And. Uh, Figure that out. So they should be in there now. One more here. Okay. Now this should be completely full, which means we're also going to put a pedestal here. And we can suck the fluid out to keep that going. <laughs> I think that might have been a little fast for it. That's okay. But this will go and it'll keep this thing buffered in full as well. So that's exciting. That's so annoying. Can I really? Music and sounds. Hostile creatures. 10%. Master volume, 50. That's still... Let's bump it down to 3%. Perfect. So now we have this. So now, let's get our linking tool. An ender drawer. Left click on an ender drawer. Boop. Listen how fast we run. Look at that. Come down here. Eh. 
Perfect. And out. Let's check this. How's this going? This is going down, which is fine. Because we just aren't... I don't think we can, we can increase the amount of blood that we transfer in there. That's okay. This only takes three? Holy God. Look at that. And Ethereal Slate Singularity. Four of them. Whoops. Let's take this out. See, we didn't set that filter before, and that's what got us. Upgrade, advanced. And we'll take, uh, let's take an approve for the blood. Oh, I don't want, I don't want this. I want, uh, this ethereal slate. And then in this one back here, throw an upgrade. Still going down, but not by as much. This is gonna stay full. So, I mean, that's always full. Could, could we get away with a, an ultimate pipe upgrade? Eh. I don't think it makes much of a difference. What if I speed you up? It's too fast. Too fast. But we are getting a lot of blood, which is fantastic. This is just gonna go for a while. And then we can fill that in. So like, this is just constantly being full. But the second we do that, it just sucks it all out of there. Drains too fast. But that is the ethereal slate completely automated it's not terribly difficult you just got to make sure you get that well of suffering down we're already at seven make sure this thing goes the way it's supposed to eight nine We just wait and see. We have another one come in, and then we'll be good to go. But there you have it. So the reason we did that setup was we you really you need to get the Well of Suffering set up. We sped it up with um, the washes of flowing time. Not 100% necessity. Helps the blood flow faster. But then we have a second altar for however fast it can transfer blood out it will go into this, into our blood orb, because we don't want to run out of essence just in our overall pool, because that is what we'll need to keep the ritual itself running. But this is going, it's it's changing. It's not the fastest, but like we've already seen, like if we speed it up with the watch, it just goes way too fast. But that's fine. If we ran back now, we should see that we have more than nine singularities made. And if we do, everything is working splendidly. So, yeah, we got 10. So we're cooking with gas, A-OK. -okay. And that is where we are going to wrap up today's episode, you guys. I hope you liked it. If you did, hit that like button down below and leave me a comment down in the comments. And if it's your first time here, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. And as always, you guys, I am Voxel Twig, and I will catch you all next time.